The foundation of any good concealed carry platform is a good gun belt. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Pilot Patriot channel. Today we're going to be talking about something that I think most concealed carriers don't think about and that's your gun belt. The most popular way to conceal carry is either inside the waistband or outside the waistband. And what most people don't think about is that you really need a good strong supportive belt to hold that gun up and keep it secure. Now I've been wearing this gun belt for about five years now and it's from bullhidebelts.com. Now I'll put a link to that in the description below so you can check one out for yourself. But there are some major differences between a bullhide belt and your average belt that you'll get at Belk or Walmart or something like that. And we'll get deeper into those in a minute when we get to the tabletop, but here's a quick comparison for you. This is a belt from bullhidebelts.com, and you can see how it's so rigid it supports itself when you hold it up on its side like that. And this is your average Walmart belt. No support, no rigidity at all. It just flops over when you try to hold it up on its side. And that tells you a lot about how it's gonna support anything that you're clipping onto it on your waist, especially a gun. Most of your guns that you're carrying are gonna weigh at least a pound, if not more. And this belt can't even support its own weight, much less the weight of your gun. Now let's get over to the tabletop and I'll show you exactly what makes this bullhide belt so special. Alright guys, now people picture a lot of different things when you talk about a gun belt. Uh, some people might be picturing a tactical belt, something like this right here with a lot of gear on it. And this is really cool and I do plan on doing a video on this belt. But when we're talking about everyday use, everyday carry, uh, concealed carry, this obviously isn't something that you're going to conceal carry every day. You're not going to be able to carry all this gear on your waist and conceal it. The whole point of concealed carry is to be covert, to be low profile so people don't know what you're carrying on you. So something like this belt from Bullhide Belts is going to be exactly what you want. It looks just like a regular belt that anybody would wear. Uh, it's a nice leather. As you can see, this one down here is one that I've been wearing for a really long time. It's got some nice wear on it and everything, uh, but it is still holding up really great. Uh, this is a new one that I just got from them. And these belts have some key differences from your average belt that you'll pick up at Walmart or somewhere like that. And I'll show you that right here in a minute. So one of the biggest differences that you're going to notice right off bat is the thickness. The belt from Bullhide Belts is a quarter inch thick. That is a super thick belt. Now if my dad had a belt like this when I was growing up, I'd have been scared to death of this thing. Now hopefully you can see this on the screen. This brown belt here is representative of pretty much all the belts that I saw at Walmart. This is almost not even an eighth of an inch thick. This belt from Bullhide Belts is going to be double the thickness, if not more than that. And the reason for that is so it's more rigid and it can really hold that gun up. What you don't want when you're carrying a gun, especially concealed carry, is you don't want that gun flopping around. Uh, you don't want it sagging down and pulling your pants down throughout the day. And if you're wearing a flimsy belt like this right here that can't even support its own weight, you can't expect it to support the weight of a gun. Now another easy test to show you, this is again the belt from Walmart. Now all I have to do is pinch that and I can fold it all the way over. That is not what you want right there. Now if I try to do that same thing with the bullhide belt, even with all the force that I can put on it, I still can't fold it over the way I did just with two fingers on the Walmart belt. And what you just saw is exactly what's going to happen when you try to strap a gun onto a belt that isn't designed for carrying a gun. And these belts are. Also the craftsmanship on these belts is just immaculate. Got a nice stainless Paul Revere style buckle here with a roller on the end to help you really tighten that thing down. Uh, it's got some beautiful stitch in here. Just a quick note, this is one full solid piece of leather here. The stitching is just a cosmetic thing. So this is one solid piece of leather and that means it is going to hold up better over time. Another thing you'll notice uh, that you don't see on a lot of belts is how many holes it has and how close together they are. So um, a lot of belts, they may have a hole every inch and that doesn't give you a whole lot of adjustment. 
if you're carrying a gun, especially if you carry different size guns, different days uh, inside the waistband, it's gonna change your waist size and you may have to adjust that belt. Uh, and the bull hide belts offer plenty of adjustment. So no matter what gun you're wearing, you can adjust it to fit that day. Now let me show you, this is the belt that I've been wearing for years now. Uh, and it is very well worn in. I've been wearing it every day for about five years. And I'll show you that while it has lost some of its rigidity, it still holds up very well. Um, if I try to give it that fold over test, I still cannot fold it over. These belts will last a very long time. This is another style they have here. This is a brown double stitched uh, with a little bit of a different style buckle. And this was distressed when I got it, but uh, it definitely has a lot of real world use on it. Um, and this thing is holding up great. I've never had any issue carrying a gun with that belt. And Bullhide Belts offers a lot of different options. They got plenty of different colors you can choose from, different patterns. If you look on their website, you'll see that they were rated number one in concealed carry weapons belts. They have a lot of different styles. They, uh, you can get exotic belts. They have everything from uh, bull hide to snake skin, alligator. Uh, you can even get water buffalo and hippopotamus belts uh, from these. That just shows you how many different options you can get. Uh, they also offer a steel core belt. If you want something that's even more rigid and even more supportive, uh, you can get their steel core belt that give you that extra rigidity. And what it has is a stainless spring steel core that creates a super stiff belt. And like I said, if you're looking something with a little bit of style, they have dress belts, they have casual belts, um, Western belts. So there's a lot of different options to fit what you want. Now, while we're talking about all the different options, uh, they do have various widths. Uh, you can get all the way from uh, one and a quarter inch, you can get one and a half inch, which is what I have here. Uh, and you can get one and three quarter if, if you want something extra wide. Now I know there are a lot of gun belt options on the market, but the problem with a lot of them is a lot of them uh, that you see are that really super tactical look. Uh, while some people like that and some people can pull that off depending on uh, what you do uh, for your job and where you go on a daily basis, you might can wear that real tactical, cool looking Cobra buckle belt but that's just not realistic for a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people uh, would prefer to blend in, have something that looks like just your average leather belt. Now, if you're wearing one of these belts from Bullhide Belts, you can be super covert, undercover. People, when they look at these belts, it looks just like a regular belt that anybody wears. Uh, they're not gonna instantly look at that and think gun like they would with those uh, Cobra Buckle tactical belts. So that is a big plus for wearing something like this. But our main focus here is to get something that's super rigid and really gonna hold up over time and really support whatever it is that you're planning on strapping onto this belt. And you're definitely gonna get that with a belt from Bullhide Belts. Now I will put a link to these in the description below. And I do have a coupon code. If you look at the bottom of the screen, coupon code is Pilot Patriot. That'll get you 10% off anything at bullhidebelts.com. So get rid of those crappy little flimsy belts you got and get you something that's really going to support that gun. Uh, get you a belt from bullhidebelts.com. You definitely won't be disappointed. Uh, I hope you like these kind of videos, guys. If you do, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time we upload new videos. You can also support the channel over at Patreon. There's a link for that down in the description as well. I hope this video has helped you out. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.